when the empath is pushed too far. As an empath, you are kind and self-sacrificing. You are concerned more with the needs and wishes of other people than with your own. Because you feel and show sympathy and concern for other people. You're able to understand their point of view. So you can be patient with them. You're able to accept and tolerate delays, problems and suffering without becoming annoyed or anxious. You don't like to say no to people because you don't want to dismiss them as inadequate or unacceptable. Due to your self-sacrifice in nature, other people tend to exploit you for their own personal gain, but you do have a limited capacity for delay, problems and suffering. And when you reach that limit, you will get very annoyed. You may have good listening skills. You may listen to people in an attentive manner because you have high empathy. You have the ability to understand and share the feelings of other people. You're good at giving people advice. You're good at comforting people. But by doing this, you are absorbing other people's emotions. You are carrying their emotional baggage and there's only so much that you can take. So at some point you will stop listening because you have your own struggles. You have your own stuff to deal with. You may be a very generous person you may show a readiness to give your time, energy and money to people who are going through a difficult time. You will help animals. And you may often give more than is necessary or expected. But some people will abuse the empath's kindness and generosity. And when empaths have endured enough abuse, they will take away their assistance. Empaths often find themselves in relationships with narcissists and they end up having to devote themselves completely to serve and be a slave to the narcissist, to offer them food, protection, support and encouragement. While the narcissist takes everything that they have to offer and gives them nothing back in return. So at some point the empath will get fed up. They will complain that the narcissist is not reciprocating and that does not make the empath a bad person. It does not mean that they're making people work hard or meet high standards. It does not mean that the empath is not easily satisfied. The empath just wants a healthy relationship where there is both give and take, where both partners needs are satisfied. But narcissists are very selfish. They lack consideration for other people. They only care about themselves. So this idea of a healthy relationship will never be a reality with the narcissist. But there is nothing wrong with giving. You just need to set boundaries to prevent people from abusing your kindness and generosity. 
But when you've reached your limit, you will become less empathic. When people continue to abuse you, while you are careful not to offend or upset them, you will absorb their emotions and you will get angry. You will desire to give them a taste of their own medicine. You will mirror their behaviors and they won't like it. They will see it as though you are mocking them and they will attack you for your response to the abuse. Because they fail to understand that you've reached your limits. You've been pushed too far. And when a person has been pushed too far, they will act in ways that are different from who they are. They may become kind and unpleasant. They may be aggressive because they're human beings. They're not angels or saints. So when they've been pushed too far, they will act in a way that anyone else would act. Although it may take an empath a lot longer to get to that point. Eventually they will desire to teach their abuser a lesson. And that is when the abuser will turn the tables on them. They will point the finger at the empath. They will play the victim. They will call the police. They will drag them through the courts. They will blame the empath for their reaction to the abuse rather than the abuse itself. When it was completely normal for the empath to react in that way. Empaths may have a lot of patience. And it may take a lot to make them angry. But everyone has limits. So eventually they will lose control. They will say what they want to say. They will do what they want to do without thinking about the consequences. They will no longer care about other people's feelings. Because they are emotional sponges. They absorb other people's emotions. So when they've been pushed too far, they will no longer care about anyone or anything. They will prioritize their own emotions. Because they realize that if they do that, it will ease their mental pain and suffering. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.